Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a Save button to your Microsoft Access Forms. Microsoft Access automatically saves changes to your data when you move from record to record or if you close a form. So for example, when I come in here and start editing this, notice a little pencil appears there. That means this record is dirty. It hasn't been saved yet. The changes are only on the form and they haven't been saved to the table underneath yet. But if I move from record to record, notice that pencil goes away. And if I go back to the record, you can see the changes were made. All right, if I come in here and delete that now, the record's dirty again, but if I close the form and then open it back up again, you can see the changes were saved. Now, some people like the reassurance that the record has been saved. Most other applications like Word or Excel, you got to click on the save button, right, to save your work. So you can put a save button here on the form if you want to give those people the confidence that they've saved their work. So how do we do that? Well, let's go into design view and come up here into your control box, grab a button, a command button, and just drop that anywhere on the form that you want. Then we're gonna to go to form operations, refresh form data. This tells access, save the data, save any changes to the table underneath. Click next. Now you can put the word refresh on here. You can put the word save on here if you want, or if you wanna put a picture of a floppy disk, like most save buttons, show all pictures, and then come down to save. Where are you? Right there. Save or save record. Either one. What's the joke, of course? Kids today, they don't even know what a floppy disk is. So you got a picture of a floppy disk on a button meaning save. And only those of us over like 35 years old even know what that is. All right. Next. Give it a meaningful name. Command 30 isn't very meaningful, right? Let's call this save button or save BTN or whatever you want. No spaces. It's going to be the name of the actual button. And you don't really need that only if you get into VBA programming. So that's not super important. And then hit finish. All right, there's my button, and you can put it wherever you want. You can resize it. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. All right, there's my save button. If you want to put your own picture in there, too, you can. You can browse and select your own picture if you've got an image that you'd like to have in there. All right, so save that form. Control S. <laughs> save, right? Hit the save button. I'm going to close it and then reopen it. And there we go. There's my save button. Now, if you make some changes and you want to manually click that save button, click it, and there you go. The form data is refreshed, the dirty pencil goes away, and everybody's happy. If you want to learn more cool stuff like this, come and check out my free Access Level 1 class. It's four hours long. It's absolutely free. It's on my website. It's on my YouTube channel. I look forward to seeing you there. How do you become a member? Click on the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are gonna keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, 
Feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1, and it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.